Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Stephen. One of our longtime subscribers commented with this question. What is the difference between fish and PCR? So if you are a CML survivor, these are two very important terms that you need to understand. Fish and PCR are two different types of tests to help you track the progress of your CML. FISH stands for Fluorescence in Situ Hybridization. I know, that's a mouthful. This is a special lab test that uses special dyes to look for abnormal changes in a cell's genes. Basically, when looking under a microscope, the dyes turn mutant CML cells into a different color. This test is used to identify the Philadelphia chromosome, which as we remember, produces the BCR able gene that causes your blood counts to go out of whack. <laughs> When I was first diagnosed with CML, I had both FISH and PCR tests. I only had FISH actually for a few times at the beginning. The test would basically generally look at 200 cells and see how many of those cells have the Philadelphia chromosome. Of the 200 cells, how many show the Philadelphia chromosome, which was really high in the beginning, and how many didn't. Over the two or three tests I had, those numbers went down to close to zero. Once the, there is no more Philadelphia chromosome detected through FISH, you considered a complete cytogenetic response, or CCYR. This is a very important milestone in your CML journey. After getting to see complete cytogenetic response, the FISH test doesn't really give you the information that you need. So then it becomes more important to look at the PCR test. As a reminder, the PCR test stands for polymerase chain reaction, and it looks at the number of BCR able cells within your blood. PCR tests are very, very, very sensitive. They can detect one mutant cell in a sample of 10,000 cells or even one cell in 100,000 cells. You will continue to have PCRs throughout your CML journey, even when you're on your drug and even when you're off your drug, because you want to make sure that number stays at zero or as close to zero as possible. So in conclusion, the fish is used at the beginning of your, of your CML treatment to see how many Philadelphia chromosome cells there are. Once there are no longer Philadelphia chromosome cells, then you only have the PCR test to see at a very, 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 very granular level how many BCR able cells you have. If you'd like more videos about CML and healthy living, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching today. Together, Together we heal. heal.